Good morning, folks. It seems we liked the news article blast yesterday, so we'll do it again today. We'll confirm the second most significant earthquake forecast made by a member of QuakeWatch.net, and we'll begin today over at SpaceWeatherNews.com, finding no solar flaring. But on the northern visible reach here, you will see some activity from the filaments. And when we come to ionized helium in 304 angstroms, we'll be able to see two filament snaps. The first actually ejected a bit to the right as we're looking from here, and the second is lifting north. Neither will affect the solar wind at Earth, which is peaking right now due to the southern coronal hole. The speed of the stream couldn't even crack 450 kilometers per second, however, so yesterday's weak stream analysis for the south is solid. Next one obviously almost to center longitudes on the north. So we'll start with some good news. The ozone hole in Antarctica was the smallest in 30 years, still plenty big for our planet's exhale. There are crazy shots coming out of Bogota yesterday after the night before witnessed a horrendous hailstorm and flooding that overtook the downtown streets. Hubble got photobombed by solar system asteroids. Due to its multi-shot stacking, we do see the same asteroid getting multiple licks in on the image. What is amazing is these rocks are close to home while the background is millions to billions of light years away. Big changes for our understanding of the Centauri system, especially Proxima, which appears to have multiple dust rings around it, all outside the known planet, but number three suggests another planet may lurk, maybe something like Mars. So galactic halos are vastly greater in volume than their host galaxies, and the Milky Ways provides an interesting conundrum. The emission glow of our local galaxy halo is either resulting from aromatic hydrocarbons, a giant cloud of life molecules, or it is from one of the more than 500 diffuse interstellar bands produced by the interstellar plasma toying with light frequencies from distant galaxies, which is like saying we don't know whether it was an Apple or a Mack truck. Well played. Speaking of well played, holy moly, did you see the news out yesterday on the Great Pyramid? So apparently, the way cosmic rays shoot through the pyramid tell them a huge hidden chamber lies directly above the Grand Gallery, top even with the King's Chamber, and absolutely no means of getting inside whatsoever. Folks, this paper suggests that an interactive version of dynamical dark energy in a running vacuum model is far greater than the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model, which is what they call the current paradigm. While traditional dark energy is only slightly higher on our list than cold dark matter, this dynamical vacuum field is the vacuum energy we've long believed would support this type of model. Fingers crossed the top of the community actually reads that one. Folks, QuakeWatch.net user Lester put less than 1% of Earth's fault lines on alert on October 21st. You can see that here at 3 degrees north, 127 degrees east in the band of C. Three days later, a 6.7 struck just outside that zone, but did so as a blot echo more than 500 kilometers down. In the following days, that tiny alert zone was to remain on alert. He doubled down on the remarkably constrained alert zone, and just one day later, that was the 6.3 on Halloween. It struck 3 degrees north and 127 degrees east. And apart from the Italy forecast of last year's 6.6, .6, which covered the same amount of fault lines but did so outside of the Ring of Fire, this was the most significant successful forecast made by a member at QuakeWatch.net. Remember, the next person who gets a magnitude 7 on the website or higher gets free tickets to Observing the Frontier, and the pool is currently $700 US. That's at QuakeWatch.net. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got the wind maps and shots of our star to close. And we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.